Hallelujah to Jesus. We celebrate you, Jehovah. Wherever you are all over the world, celebrate Jesus this morning. Celebrate Jesus this morning. Without aim, we are nothing. Without aim, it's possible we are not alive. Without aim, we cannot, I cannot be talking and you cannot be hearing him. Celebrate him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. I pray for you today. As you go, it will be a great day for you. You will return with testimony. As you knock, it will be open for you. In the name of Jesus, your head will not slip in the pool of blood. Yabu, you are blessed and highly favored. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Now, listen to this prophetic word concerning this month we are. Month of October, great month. In Esther chapter 2, 16 to 17. Esther chapter 2, 16 to 17. It says, so Esther was taken unto the king Ayaseros into his house, royal, in the tenth month which is the month Tepes, in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved her above all the women. And she obtained grace and favor in the sight, sight, in, in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her and made her queen instead of fast. And all this happened in the tenth month. Career. All this happened in the tenth month. Let me quickly give you three things you need to note in this place and that you are going to use to pray. Three things that you, you need to note and that you are using to pray. The Bible says in number one, it says, So Esther was taken into the king Ayaseros in his house royal in the tenth month. She was taken. She was taken. Esther was not Esther was not the one that went by herself. She could not even go because she was a slave girl. Esther had no father, had no mother. She was a slave girl. She doesn't know the way to the palace. She couldn't go, but she was taken. It means God raised people for her that took her to the palace. Hey, in the tenth month. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. In this tenth month, those helpers that will take you to your destiny, helpers that will take you to the place that belongs to you, helpers that will take you to your testimony, Malia, God will raise them for you in the name of Jesus. That is number one prayer point that God raise people for me. Sir, Esther did not go by herself. She was taken. Hey, career. Those that will take you lay to destiny, take you to greatness, every will send them your way in the name of Jesus. The number two things you must note and that you are using to pray. The Bible says she was taken to the palace. Royalty. Listen to me. The places, places matter in life. There is a place you go to, your life will receive turn around. There is a place you enter. Balika Road Sante. I pray for you today. That palace you have been looking to, that you have been looking forward to this month, you will enter into it. In the name of Jesus. She was taken to the palace. Palace, palace, place, location. Listen to me. In the journey of life, location matter. In the journey of life, places matter. Career, I pray for you today. That place where your life will receive turn around, you will be taken there this month in the name of Jesus. Then the third one, when she got to the palace, the Bible says she obtained grace and favor, favor in the sight of the king. Everyone that look at you this month, they will favor you. Malia, places everywhere you entered into, you shall be favored. Those are the three things you are using to pray. Number one, you are going to pray, God, help us. That will take me. Number two, places where my life will be turned around. Then number three, favor and grace. And as you pray that prayer, the Lord will bless you. If you are not born again, 
pray this short prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come to my heart. Be my Lord, be my Savior with my heart. I believe with my mouth, I confess. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Now, please help us to share this message. Let it go, Vara. Don't keep it to yourself. And don't forget the Bible reading that goes with it. Make sure you are committed to it. The Lord will bless you. This week will be a great week. Today will be a great day for you. It is well with you. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. As you are hearing me today, you will hear me tomorrow. You will hear me to the end of this month. You will hear me to the end of this year. See you tomorrow by the grace of God.